If a sign 61-9-U, sons, cease so obedient as to your country, in the Lord. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. That it may go well with you, and live a long time upon the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to anger, but bring them up in the doctrine and admonition of the Lord. You servants, obey your lords according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in the sincerity of your heart, as to Christ. Not serving in sight, to please men, but as servants of Christ, doing with heart the will of God. Serving as willingly as the Lord, and not as unto men. Knowing that each one will receive from the Lord all the good that he does, be a servant, be free. And you, seers, do the same to them, leaving the threats, knowing also that their Lord and yours is in heaven, and that with him there is no respect of persons. If a science 6, 1-9. Epistle of Paul to the Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. Dear brothers and sisters, we are studying, and ending the epistle of Paul to the Ephesians, where Paul directs his children to be obedient to the fathers in the Lord. In verse 2 he says, Honor your father and your mother, who is the first commandment with promise, so that you will go well, and you live long on the earth, and you parents, do not provoke the wrath to your children, but create them in the doctrine of the Lord. In verse 5 he guides the servants, obeying the masters with fear and trembling, as if they were obeying Christ. In verse 8, he says that everyone shall receive from the Lord everything that have been, be servant or be free. In verse 9 he asks the lords to treat their servants well with love, not making threats. Knowing that the same Lord Jesus Christ, who is one, is also the other. Dear brothers, we who are children of the highest, heirs, together with Christ. We have to respect, and love, do well, one to others. As if we were doing to our Lord Jesus Christ. Respecting the parents, the parents respecting the children, the servants respecting their masters, and the masters respecting the servants. Each fulfilling its part. That they may live in harmony, and in love, in the Lord. Amen. Glory to God.